Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'd like to look you in the eyes, but right now we are just taking the trail down to Hale Creek. It's not a secret spot. Everybody in the four-wheel drive association knows about it, and they've probably told their friends and family. Um, we are getting out because I needed to get out. We got stuck in that atmospheric river last weekend, and we didn't head out because I didn't know if we were going to get stuck somewhere. Hold on, we're just doing a water crossing here. John can show you quickly. So yeah, we're going to do a nostalgic, two more, I'll just hold up, oh, they're going, nope, they're pulling over, okay, <laughs> sorry about that guys, we have a couple dirt bikes, just don't want to hit each other, so yeah, we're going to head down, we're going to do a nostalgic meal for one of our friends. Who made a suggestion so we hope you enjoy the ride down we hope you enjoy the nostalgic meal we're going to show you and we're glad to have you along see you in a bit guys and we have brian with us oh yeah brian's behind us brian's behind us brian's hasn't been with us in a long time let's see if we, we can find him we've missed him i think he's back there back there somewhere yeah there he is hi brian <laughs> this is so in so foggy. I'm trying to find the right word. It's very moody. Moody, yeah. The colors are cool. The colors are amazing. They're actually not as vibrant as the ones going through kind of that one area where it was like super vivid orange and yellows. Yeah, that's but true. These ones are it's like they're starting to go brown, maybe because we're higher up. It's getting colder for them. Yeah, that's true. Hold on. It's going to get a little rough here for a second. People have been spinning here for sure. They should get a Tacoma. It's so funny. We always talk about how this is a well-known trail and everybody knows it and everybody videos it and we're not going to video it, but then you get out there. And you video it? And you video it because yeah. it's just so pretty. It's like we don't even feel the trail anymore. <laughs> oh, next time I gotta gun it through that one. Actually, not gun it. Last thing I want to do is have your luck. The water seems high. It does, yeah. I don't know if we're. Oh, can yeah, we can go. No. I, have to, I have to check it out and see. I have to see, yeah. Uh... Oh, that looks pretty deep. It does. We might have to get in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably get across that. You think so? This direction? Oh, here. Is there a way through there? We can cross here. Or do you mean to camp or cook here? What's that? Oh, okay, this is the through spot? Yeah, it's a lot easier here. It's a lot shallower. We'll head right for that bank and shoot straight up that bank.
It's also windy enough you probably to hang it. People have seen me drying my socks. <laughs> Okay, so as Walter said, we are at a local destination that isn't a secret, and it is absolutely beautiful here today. The fall colors, the fog, the clouds, it's amazing. And we found our spot, and close by, this is what we see. So, pack it in, pack it out, folks. This is today's PSA. I don't know. Is it okay that it's left behind in a fire pit? I think not. Come on, people. Pick up your garbage. It doesn't take much. I brought a bag, and I will do it for you this time, but come on. Actually, I see some trash over on outside the pit, too. So let's keep it clean together. Well, I'm putting the drone, replacement drone that we were sent from DJI uh, <laughs> back into the case because I went to fire it up and it keeps saying gimbal stuck and then gimbal mo motor overload. And this was a replacement. It came in a brand new box, everything else. Uh, I assume it's a brand new drone, but yeah. So I have to get in touch with them again because originally I sent my drone in there because I crashed it on Joanne's birthday. And it was, every time I would fire it up, it would vibrate like crazy. So they said it was a gimbal issue. So how ironic that this one actually has a gimbal issue also. <laughs> so very disappointed right now, but wanted to, uh, just wanted to update, up. see, I'm so frustrated. Just wanted to update you guys why there's no drone footage in the video. And I'm hoping that they will expedite me another one or rectify it so that we can start bringing you some more drone content. But until then, we're grounded. <laughs> All right. Nostalgic meal number three. three. Isn't it? it is number three. What do we got going on? Well, I'm draining some hot dogs. <laughs> so this meal is brought to you by? A very, very good friend of ours. And you probably have seen him on the channel. And he has his own channel but our friend Adam from Adventure Overland. And we were talking about the nostalgic meal type thing that we're doing. And he goes, oh, he goes, craft dinner and hot dogs by far. Anytime I have that it takes me back. So this is for Adam. And Adam is from Adventure Overland. If you guys haven't checked him out yet, you need to. He keeps it so real, him and his wife, Cheyenne. They're amazing people and you should go check out the channel. But in the meantime, we are going to do our best to ele elevate craft dinner and hot dogs. Okay, so we're going to so, start with the hot dogs. So we're going to start with the hot dogs. Let's not forget what we got going on here. Not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. Craft, give us a ring. <laughs> um, but we're going to cook them over a fire to try to elevate just boiled winners and craft dinner. So I'll get these on. We will. We have totally crazy weather coming in from both sides of us. I don't know if yeah. Joanne can pan around and kind of yeah. see that. We are definitely getting the weather. Uh, so we're gonna get the hot dogs done first and then we'll get into the process of, then we'll get into the process of uh, putting it all together. Perfect. All right, so we're cooking the hot dogs over the fire and I'm getting smoke in my eyes. <laughs> I'm waiting for the squall to hit. Yeah, the weather's turning sideways real quick. That was nice earlier. It was nice. And it's not unexpected, to be honest. We knew it was coming. They did say afternoon. They did. All right. I think these are perfectly done. Just a little char, not too much. I don't want to make them too black, because then that will make the craft dinner kind of look weird. So let's pull these off, put them on a plate. All right. Um, okay, fellas, 
jump from tent to tent. By the way, shout out to Brian for letting us use his pop-up. And table. And table. Actually, yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry. We didn't bring ours because no. we're so well organized. Yeah, well, it happens. It's no big deal. Let's get this going. Oh, I hate these new tanks. They kill me. You open them too much, they just don't work anymore. Is that pressure? What was that? A pressure valve we read about? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so our water is boiling and I am going to get this craft dinner cooking. Super excited to be doing this um, nostalgic meal for Adam. I personally, growing up, did not eat craft dinner and actually did not experience my first taste of craft dinner until I met Walter. So um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Thanks Adam for the suggestion. We hope we do it some justice in our elevation. Get these noodles cooked. Okay, so I'm gonna underdo these a little bit because we're gonna kick it up by baking it in the oven. So I'm gonna shut this down now. I'm gonna drain it. <laughs> Didn't be that bad. That's a surprise. That was bad. Oh, I just heard that guy hit hard. So right now, the access that we came in, there's a stock gladiator trying to get across and banging a lot of stuff over there. All right, let's get this going, son. I'm just happy to see that the rain stopped for us. Yeah, uh, looks like there might be more coming. I'm not so sure. <laughs> kind of fast with a baking pan. I've been making this up. All right. So I guess every family has their own. Actually, I didn't even put in the margarine. Their own way of doing it, I guess. And I'm sure Adam's family didn't do it like mine. But our nostalgic meals are kind of the same because my mother always used to do. Um, craft dinner and hamburger so same but not and then she never really used milk because I don't know if we weren't well off so maybe we didn't have milk but she just used margarine and that kept it thick and everything else so that's what I'm gonna do that is freaking hot you'd think I'd learn so just the margarine and then the seasoning and then we'll add the, the hot, hot dogs. dogs we'll put it in this tray and then we're going to add shredded cheddar on it on top and then we're going to bake it till the cheese melts yep that's the plan <laughs> this we'll is see. a total experiment we have no idea how it'll turn out but this was our our idea of elevating craft dinner and hot dogs our idea of elevating adam's nostalgic meal In. Very creamy. All right, so let's throw this in here.
I don't know, should we use all the cheese or just? I think that's, that's, that's enough. good to me, yeah. I think. Okay. I'll fold this up. We'll switch stuff out so we can get the oven on and then we'll be back with you guys in a sec. So let's take said nostalgic meal and throw it in the oven. And I'll probably give it, I don't even know. Never done it before, maybe 10 minutes? 10 mi just till the cheese melts Turn maybe? Yeah. I think so, that's all you need, because it's already cooked. Yeah, totally. Awesome. So I'm gonna pull this out. Everything's melted, but it's getting a little sketch around the, uh, around like the a, edges. Like a crest? Yeah, kinda. But I don't know if we exactly want that, so... Is it? You know we need to get some... Uh, mitts? Oven mitts yeah. for camping. Of glove. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It actually, it looks really good. It actually does look really good. So... Oh yeah, everything's nice and soft. Still got, yeah, it's not dry. I think we might have a winner here. Do you want a spoon? Um, actually I'll be okay. It'll just take me longer, that's all. <laughs> yeah, maybe a spoon. Okay, I'll go, I'll go dig up a spoon. Wow, okay, so I just tasted what was on the fork and it takes that you know that saltiness that Katie has? Yep. That cheese like totally mellows it out. Nice. So this could potentially be a campfire winner. Winner, winner. Katie, Katie dinner. dinner. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thank you. Look at all those hot dogs. Look what's, see? Look what's, what's coming out of this series we're doing. Right? See what I mean, though? Did you take a bite yet? I did take oh. a bite. It, yeah, the saltiness is completely gone. Like, it, like cut it down, huge. Oh, rain again. Let's see. All right. The verdict. Adam, this is for you, buddy. It's pretty good. It's <laughs> really good. It's pretty good. <laughs> like it takes that. Poor kid thing you were forced to eat as a kid. Well, not forced, we all loved it anyways. I'm gonna try this one with the hamburger that my mom raised me on. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do it with hamburger. Yeah. But the campfire cooked hot dog. The campfire cooked hot dog makes a huge difference. Nice. Like it's not that, not that water, wiener water soup type thing <laughs> you used to get. Awesome. You know what I mean? Okay, so Adam, next time we are camping together. We'll make this. We'll make this. All right, so we have chilled out for a little bit. We've had our nostalgic meal. We've had on and off rain, but it looks like we're gonna be more, excuse me, we're gonna be more on rain at this point. We are definitely not ready to leave yet. It's been a week and we were just dying to get out and get some of that nature's therapy that we all love so much. So we are going to chill out by the fire. If you are still here, do us a huge favor. Go down below, hit that sub button, give us a like, give us a comment. And we hope you really, really enjoy the content that we are producing. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.
Hey guys, so there it is. Uh, an impromptu day out, but we just had to get out with that atmospheric river, or as we knew it in the 80s as October. Um, yeah, we just haven't been out, so this was pretty important to us. And we really wanted to pay an ode to our friend Adam and uh, do his nostalgic meal, but at this point we're just heading out. It's a little dark. Trying to use a flashlight to light up the truck while we drive. And until next time, we hope you get out there, enjoy life, and find your moments. All right, guys, take care.